Okay, guys, take two. Let's see if we can get this right this time. I didn't show you all the development on this. It's been on and off the bench quite a bit. I was not able to flow it with the poppet valves in because they're so tiny and I have no way to really hold them in place because I don't have a spring or anything. So all the testing was done without the valves in place. So a lot of people will jump up and down and yell, but as long as you... Uh, give yourself a baseline and look for improvements it really should follow that when it's all together with the poppet valves there will be an improvement well what kind of improvement did we get we got 12 percent improvement on the intakes and 24 percent on the exhaust that actually sounds like a believable number and i can show you some of the things that i did to change it you may not be able to see it let's move the light a little bit but what I did to one port was different than the other port because what I was trying to do, we're coming in straight here, we're trying to initiate a little bit of swirl this way. It doesn't have to be a lot. It would be nice if we got a decent speed, but it's going to be tough to do on four valve. Kind of like DV's polyquad. And if it was still swirling and came out, it would work with this curved exhaust. So if I can get a focus on this, that intake port is actually quite a bit different than this intake. Okay, now you can see my my smallest burr still can't get right to that very little edge. Uh, the chamber required a ton of work because there was there were huge cut lines in the chamber itself where they did all their top cut and then just a small radius and then a razor sharp edge basically around almost all the seats you can look back on the last uh, video of this and you can see it that needed to be changed the whole the whole chamber got you know my actually what i did is i used my little tiny little tiny stone on my pencil grinder with a little bit of WD because stones plug up with aluminum in no time. And that's how that was shaped. The burrs that were used, well, this is my smallest burr. Let me see if I can one hand this for you guys. That's my smallest burr. Notice how big it is in reference to what we're working at. But that's not the burr that can give me the texture I want. So that's this burr. Yeah makes it more than a little difficult. <sighs> Not a big fan of four valve stuff. Real tiny, hard for me to work in. I don't like it. Don't send me any more four valve stuff. You want to send me big block Chevy stuff? Stuff that's got plenty of room I can move around? That'll work better. But in any case, we still got some decent gains on this. Let me show you what we did. Well, as far as our throat, they were already about as maxed out as I would like. You can see they did get some burr, but that was really just to blend in the aluminum to the seat and then a tiny, tiny bit at the very bottom of that top cut. Okay. The bowl itself is different than it was originally. and should work better at top top RPM. Now, according to the the owner of this, he actually gave me some specs on the engine. Let's see if we can read them out. All right. The engine is 240 cc's, 67 millimeter crankshaft. Now, oh, the piston is 67, the crank length is 38.1, the throttle body is 40 millimeters. Sorry guys, I'm not focused on anything, I'm trying to read. Two injectors, Yamaha Zuma 125 engine crates, whatever that means. Maybe it's a, a copy of, of the Yamaha, I don't know. Uh, the RPM is going to be at 
10,500. They're not changing that. Compression ratio will be 12.5 to 1. Uh, he said something about these doing about 70. He hopes to get this at 100 miles an hour. I'm like, trying not to get killed at 100 miles an hour on a scooter. Ouch. Oh, well. Let's see what we did on these ports. Okay, I can still see a couple little spots I gotta just touch before we're completely done. But that's fine. I don't mind that at all. Okay, the exhaust, same idea really. They, they've been touched with the burr all the way around. Just touched at the bottom of that lower cut. Uh, none of this has been polished. I don't think I'm going to. If you really wanted to, you could probably sand cloth those short side radiuses. They're pretty good the way they are though, because it's pent roof. It does. It's not the same as our bent, you know, uh, real short low ports. These are really good to begin with. Okay, short side radius on our intakes. Come on, you can do it. Oh, what a pain in the butt. All right, they look like they've got a nice shape to them. Let's see if we can move that light a little bit. A little bit less light intensity. Okay, you can see how the short side turned out really nice. The arc was changed, touch wider. Typical stuff to get more top end. Okay. All blended in, a lot of uh, sharp cuts on the original factory tooling. Okay, the exhaust, you can see, has a much taller short side radius. I don't know if you guys can see it, but one short side is quite a bit taller than the other short side because they're completely different ports. You can see how that exhaust turns, right? It turns towards... It actually turns towards our right, right? This, this port on the left has got a nice arc around to it, and this one is actually aiming to collide with that exhaust on the other port. I was able to change a lot on the exhaust and that's why we got such a big pickup on the exhaust. Okay, tough to get focus on here, but you can see where if you look back on the uh, original video of this, right, this port has got a nice turn. This one aimed the wrong way. Well, I was able to change that inside wall quite a bit. And that'll make a huge help. Okay, it's no longer it's no longer aimed directly in the other path. This is this has all been changed, so they'll they'll merge a lot better than the way it was originally designed. You can still see I got a little clay here and there because I had to plug it in order to get some decent flows out of it. Let's flip this over and take a look. Okay, hopefully you guys can see the short side on the right. It's completely different than the short side on the left. So they're going to flow different. Yes, the outside wall was changed much ra more radically on one than the other in order for those two paths of exhaust to combine easier. Obviously it worked because it looks like it said uh, we got 24% increase on the exhaust, which should really help with some high RPM stuff. Okay, trying to get... Uh, some decent lighting so you guys can see. Intake, right? It's dead straight, relatively sharp edge. It's quite an efficient design, but it's only designed for tumble. Okay? Increasing some swirl in there adds a lot of mid range, low range. Okay, roof of the intakes. You can see how they've got a nice shape all the way up. Very tough little head to port, no question about it. Pretty happy with the results, should, uh, should run well. All right guys, I think I've shown enough on this. Thanks for hanging out, have a good night.